everyone, my name's Valerie and I am the Outreach Coordinator for Future Energy Systems. Welcome back to the final part of Science Comics Cars, Engines That Move You, written and illustrated by Dan Zetlock. Let's get into this final part. Stroke 4, Exhaust, Cars in Our Environment. Who should we really thank for cars, internal combustion engines, hot rods, and minivans? These guys. Ancient plankton, microscopic sea creatures, lived hundreds of millions of years ago. Heat, pressure, earth, time! Energy is compressed and stored in the organism's remains, becoming fossil fuels. Well, we should thank what's left of them. Layers of rock and sand bury this rich organic material, which will remain hidden in the earth for a long time. Crude oil was originally discovered by ancient peoples at natural seepages. Known as bitumen, this sticky black stuff was immediately useful. Mesopotamians used it to build boats, buildings, and roads. Egyptians used it to embalm their mummies. By the early 1800s, oil becomes less crude, replacing whale blubber as the main source of lamp oil. There have been wells drilled into the earth for a long time, many of which tap into oil deposits. Chemists soon learned that crude oil can be refined into very useful products called petroleum. The method for extraction becomes more sophisticated. Sort of. With a few more advancements, we soon have the first truly successful modern drilling rig. Black gold! Fill every vessel you can find! At the same time, Otto, along with others, was tinkering with his internal combustion engine. He just needs the right lightweight fuel to come along. Gasoline! Gasoline, aka gas or petrol, is liquid fuel derived from petroleum. It's made up of hydrocarbons, compounds of hydrogen and carbon, which happen to combust easily in engines. But why? Let's take a closer look. Gasoline's molecules are arranged in such a way that when you add oxygen molecules and a bit of a spark, the molecules recombine heat and light are released. When this happens thousands of times in a row, your car moves. The carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms recombine into new molecules, ideally just carbon dioxide and water. But engines are inefficient, combustion is often incomplete, and the result is less than ideal exhaust, smog, ozone, carbon monoxide, soot. Pipe dream, how gas gets from the earth into your car. Exploration. Drilling. Refinery. Transport. Filling station. The gasoline is ready to pump now. Gasoline, gas stations past and present. 1888. Bertha Benz pit stop at the village pharmacy makes its history's first gas station. 1890s. Motorists usually fill up at roadside hardware stores or black, blacksmith shops. 1900s, Bowser's self-measuring gasoline storage pump becomes widely adopted. 1913, the first purpose-built drive-in gas station opens in Pittsburgh. Now here's how a typical modern gas station works. Vent pipe, delivery hose, fill pipe, delivery lines, pumps, and storage tank. Keep on trucking. Here are 50 different kinds of vehicles that have been created. And another 50. Weird cars. We've seen some cars along the way that defy explanation. 1910, Brooks Swan Car. Late 1800s, Dunkley Moke. 1921, Layette's Helica. 1930s, Diana Sphere. 1964, GM Runabout. 1959, Cadillac Cyclone. 1930s to present, Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. 2017, Rhine Speed Oasis. Date unknown, Dream Car 123. For most of these weird cars, only one prototype exists. Whew! Extreme rides. Cars have traveled just about everywhere humans have, sometimes even farther. They help us push the limits of temperature, time, space, and good sense. 
2000, drivers in Norway pass through the Lairdal Tunnel at 24.5 kilometers. It is the world's longest. 2010, daredevil motorcyclist Mustafa Danger crosses a tightrope 130 meters high. 2009, the robotic Benthic rover crawls along the bottom of the ocean four kilometers deep. 1958, Sir Edmund Hillary and his crew are the first to drive motorized vehicles to the South Pole. 1970, the Soviet Union's driverless Luna Cold One is the first car in space. 1971, the USA's lunar rovering vehicle is the first moon buggy driven by humans. 2018, SpaceX launches a rocket into orbit carrying a Tesla Roadster. 2004 to present, NASA's robotic rover Opportunity continues to survive dust storms and explore Mars. Timeline of automotive safety. Accidents from minor fender benders to catastrophic crashes are a fact of today's car-filled streets. Advancements over the years have tried to reduce their frequency, or at least their impact. Things like safety glass, speedometers, three-color stoplights, turn signals, seat belts, driver's licenses, anti-lock brakes, airbags, sensors. 1970s to present, crash test dummies simulate the effects of violent impact on humans. Despite these technical advances and laws regulating speeding and drunk driving, there are still millions of avoidable accidents every year. Science of speed. We've covered combustion, but there's a lot more sciencey stuff you could study to better understand your two-ton hunk of metal. Torque is the rotational power of an engine an engine has to turn a car's wheels. It's related to horsepower and revolutions per minute. Aerodynamics is the study of the way cars flow through the air. Cars are designed to minimize air resistance or drag. Friction allows a tire to grip the road and start moving a car. But inside the engine where parts must move freely, must move smoothly, friction is the enemy. Oil lubricates the engine and keeps it from overheating. Just change it every once in a while. Inertia means that once a car is moving, it'll keep moving. This is Newton's first law. In the absence of friction, an object in motion will remain in motion until a force is applied to it. Hydraulics aren't just for low riders. When the brake pedal is pressed, a vacuum booster multiplies the force and fluid is pumped powerfully to brake on all four wheels. Electronics are improving performance and safety. New cars are basically computers on wheels, but your brain is still the most important one in the car. Honk, if you want to learn the history of car horns. Around the turn of the century, the clip-clop of horses' hooves is replaced by a new music of the streets. Have a listen. The late 1800s, bells. 1900, Gabriel pipe whistle attached to exhaust. Early 1900s, squeeze bulbs. 1908, klaxon. 1910, Siriano, the mile ahead electric signal. 1920s, Spartan chime bugle. As cars become more soundproof, horns must keep getting louder. Help reduce noise pollution by using your horn only in an emergency. It's unthinkable now, but there was a time when you couldn't hear music, news, ball games, or podcasts in your car. Tune into a short history of the car radio. 1930, the motor Vitrola brings a parlor into the car. 1952, the first AM FM radio. 1956, the highway hi-fi is a turntable for playing records while taking a spin. 1965 to 70s, 8-track cassettes and later compact cassette tapes are the first truly portable format. 1980s to 90s, compact disc players arrived with booming stereo systems. And beyond, satellite radio and Bluetooth devices offer new ways to crank it up. I love this song. You know, I used to get milkshakes. I used to go get milkshakes with my grandma. She drove me to this joint one time. Let's just say it wouldn't pass a health inspection these days. 
Grandma sure loved her cars. I wonder what she'd think of this one. This is the 2017 Toyota Prius, a car known as a hybrid. It is a hybrid because it is powered by both an electric motor and a gasoline-powered internal combustion engine. You might say, it's the best of both worlds. If you're just driving down the block to grab lunch, the electric motors do most of the work. You hardly use any gas at all. Other times to use an electric vehicle? You're moving very slowly. You want to cruise very quietly. You don't want to spew fumes. The gas engine kicks in automatically when you need it, merging onto the freeway, driving uphill, robbing a bank. Grandpa! I do like that you've got good old gas if you need it. Prior to this, the most famous hybrid was the mule, a cross between a horse and a donkey. History's most legendary hybrid might be the center. It's no Camaro, but I think it's pretty neat looking too. Uh, sure, Grandpa. Anyway, I think it's pretty cool, and I save lots of money on gas. Maybe you'll have a car that's totally electric. No way, my feet are all I need. The smokeless carriage, electric cars. Electric vehicles have been around as long as gasoline-powered cars, and at one point were nearly as popular. What happened? In the 1880s, electric tricycles started popping up around Europe. 1890, a six-seater in Iowa drives on 348 kilograms of batteries. How batteries work? Early EVs use lead-acid batteries similar to those still in use today. Chemical reactions inside create ions, electrically charged particles. A current of excited electrons flows out of the battery, powering whatever is along the circuit. The process is reversible, so the battery can be recharged many times. The early 1900s are a golden age of, electric, of the electric car. Known for being simple, safe, and silent, many taxis are electric. History's first speeding ticket is incurred by an electric vehicle going 19 kilometers an hour. The first recorded traffic fatality is caused by an electric car. 1912, the new electric starter makes gas cars more user-friendly. By 1930, electric cars seem to be extinct. Nineteen seventies, oil crises caused by political relations with oil producing countries of the Middle East cause gas prices to skyrocket. Electric cars start to sound like a good idea again. Nineteen seventy four, the city car. Nineteen ninety six, the GM EV one is beloved, but is soon discontinued and destroyed. As batteries start to utilize lithium, a lighter metal capable of storing more energy, electric cars see a resurgence. March 2012, California. Look, Ma, no hands. Hey, anybody up for a taco? Does anybody have any money? It's the most automatic drive in history, Steve's Drive. Most traffic accidents are caused by human error. Even good drivers get distracted can have slow reaction times, or might drive while intoxicated. Can robot cars help? A detailed digital map of the car's surrounding is created, recognizing large objects and tiny movements. Future cars like Google's Waymo won't even have pedals or a steering wheel. It's not perfect, but it's improving all the time. This is some of the best driving I've ever done. <laughs> 95% of my vision is gone. I'm well past legally blind. There's some places that I cannot go. There's some things that I really cannot do. This would change my life. I've got places to go. The end. And that was the final part of Science Comics, Cars, Engines That Move You. Cars and the environment are really connected from where our gas comes from and how we change the environment for cars to be able to drive. And that's still changing as we develop electric vehicles or vehicles that run on biofuels. So check out the activities below and keep learning about energy systems. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching future energy systems video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.